Hey guys, it's Ross, and um, today I wanted to do a comparison of my strawberry varieties in terms of taste and productivity. And uh, yeah, let's go get picking. Right below me, I'm sorry for the wind, by the way. I apologize for the wind in advance. I'm sure it's affecting the, the microphone quality, but right here, this is my uh, white pineberry, and it produces these white, white strawberries. Very vigorous plants. Uh, it doesn't seem as productive as my other plants. I don't know why that is, but I picked these four little berries here. They're actually quite tasty. This plant over here is also very vigorous. It's a very well, um, it grows very well, this plant. And this is Ozark Beauty. This is a never bearing type. Produces um, red strawberries. These have been quite large compared to my other varieties. Um, so let me just pick a couple of these here. There's another one. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they've, uh, I don't know if they produce less flowers or what, but they're just, uh, it's a larger strawberry than what I've been getting. On this side of the yard, I have um, early glow. And I did a video earlier in the year couple weeks ago really on this variety uh, because it was my first strawberry and this is a June bearing strawberry and they ripen just early and I guess uh, it's I guess this variety early glow is probably early for just June bearing strawberries which I'm assuming why it has that name this has been an extremely productive variety um, I kind of like I kind of like um, the June bearing varieties. Um, I guess I won't be saying that later in the year when my ever bearing just continue to produce and my June bearing or not, but. So now that I picked my varieties, um, I showed you guys the, on the right here is the Ozark Beauty, the largest, the white pineberry, early glow at the top. And then on the left is Mara Des Bois, which I picked off camera. Uh, Marida's Boyce is the least vigorous and the smallest of the plants, which also has the smallest um, berries on it. Um, the three of these, I believe this is a... The three of these right here on the bottom are Everbearing. And then the one at the top is, uh, is a Junebearing, Early Glow. And Early Glow ripened first, then we got Marida's Boyce. Then we got uh, a couple Ozark Beauties that are now coming in, and at the same time, the White Pine Berries have been coming in, essentially. I also want to note, and I know you guys just saw me pick, pick some of the plants, but the three of these plants here are just much more vigorous plants, it seems like. Uh, I don't know what it is with the Marita's voice. Maybe I just moved them around too many times. But these plants have not just, they've not done well. To the point where last year I didn't even get really a taste of them that that much. I kind of took off all the flowers to try and help them grow, and it seems like it really hasn't helped all that much. I'm hoping that next year it'll it won't be that case, but it seems like the three of these are just very vigorous, and you know compared to this, to the Marida's boys. So let's get tasting. Um, I want to try the Marida's boys first because. Believe it or not, this strawberry, I believe, is actually the tastiest of the four. And people really brag about this variety. Uh, lots of people will say this is their favorite. To me, I've had it, it's, to me it tasted like, so far, it kind of tastes like a Concord grape when fully ripe. It's very sweet. It's a very sweet strawberry. So let's get, let's try this one. Very small, even in one bite. It very much so tastes like a grape. It really does. It tastes like um, almost like the grape flavoring you would taste in like grape soda. It has that in it. Don't ask me why that is, but it does. It has a very interesting flavor. I wouldn't expect it. That one, not so much. Let's go with the ones on the right next. This is the Ozark Beauty.
much larger larger berries um, I would say they're probably more ripe than the Marida's Boys and to me this one was great this one was just absolutely fantastic this one doesn't have the great flavoring This one more tastes more like a strawberry to me. Um, it seems a little more bland than the Marita's Boys. It's just, it's a little bland, really. It's quite on the bland side. Kind of reminds me of a store-bought strawberry. By the way, I did a video on um, my first strawberry of the year which was early glow and it just blew any any strawberry I've ever bought in the store out of the water and any of these on this plate will um, I, I really don't know what it is but store-bought strawberries are just horrible whether it's the variety or when they pick them or you know whatever it is it's just they're pathetically bad um, and it's night and day everyone I've I've given plenty of people now my strawberries these years this year and everyone just has loved them and I can't tell you how easy these are to grow too let's go with the the one at the top here the early glow early glow has given me so many strawberries it's June bearing it just has a much larger crop I've just been eating these non-stop I'll be working outside and just get a little hungry pick my strawberries and eat them and get right back to work so let's eat them. Let's eat this. Eat this guy. It's really good. I would describe early glow as more of a strawberry flavor, and it's just sweeter than the Ozark Beauty. It's just a better strawberry than the Ozark Beauty. Much better. They're good. Hmm. Are they better than the Marita's voice? Tough to say. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes, but the thing is the Marita's voice have just such an interesting flavor to them that if you like grape soda, <laughs> you're gonna love you're gonna love these goddamn Marida's boy strawberries. So <clears throat> but I think overall, just for the strawberry flavor, I think early glow has has a beat slightly. Um and here's the white pine berry. And the white pine berry, it's hard to see. But the white pine berry is indeed white, but it does have a pink tinge to it it's kind of very difficult to see on camera at least what I'm looking at right now maybe you guys can see it better than me but they are they are quite white and once they get slightly more ripe they uh, become soft and then they have like that pinkish hin uh, tinge to them to me these guys taste like um, pineapple it says it in the description of the strawberry. It's spot on. It's definitely spot on. So, they're great. It's another unique strawberry. Um, it's kind of weird that a strawberry can taste like a pineapple and a grape. So, yeah. Just to reiterate here, I would say that these two, the white pine berry and the Marida's voice are really just interesting strawberries if you're collecting fruit or if you guys uh, like to grow multiple varieties of, of uh, different plants but the early glow is probably the best strawberry flavor and the Ozark Beauty is quite bland let's try this last one that one was a lot better um, Maybe 
Maybe you have to pick these Ozark Beauties just on the less ripe side. And you get more acidity to them, which adds maybe a little bit more complexity to the flavor. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the review here, and I hope you guys have, uh, you know, one step closer to figuring out what variety of strawberry you want to grow. All right? So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.